What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Mike Perillo with another, <clears throat> excuse me, another edition of the Rabbit Hole. Um, I'm gonna unbox a couple of hats. Um, well, I already unboxed them and wore, you know, wore a few of them. Um, I'm gonna show you ones that I recently purchased that I haven't worn yet. Um, I've gotten so many hats in the last couple of weeks that I'm losing so much track that I haven't even put the new ones away that I recently bought in from my last video. So, anyway, uh, let me just try to keep track of, okay, those I did, I think those, okay, anyway. One, I'm not sure if I showed this one yet uh, in my last video or not, but I got the Baltimore Ravens um, 2022 draft hat. Uh, it's just like the Eagles one that was in the last video. Just the word mark with the bird on the back. Simple, easy peasy. Next, we have. I've had this. The I've had these uh, next to for a while. I just never thought of putting them in the, a video because I've been so busy. But next is we got the Oakland A's, who used to be the Philadelphia A's, and then they moved to Oakland. Um, this hat is very classic, uh, you know, honestly, the only player I, uh, um, knew on the Oakland A's from back in the day was Mark McGuire, I'm sure there's others, but, um, obviously I was too young to, um, know what, um, who was on that team, but, um, actually, I've liked the Oakland A's since I really got into baseball, and then I went back to watch the, um, Oakland A's from the 80s with McGuire and those other players that I can't seem to think of right now, and I'm sorry. So we got that one, and I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible because... My daughter, who appeared in my last video, is coming home soon, and if you know anything about my channel, you know I do quick, small videos during the week because of my schedule and my daughter. The next one is the Jacksonville... I believe 2021 draft hat. Uh, it's a fitted. Um, a lot of um, trucker hats like with the hat like this aren't fitted, but I actually found one. And just for the record, all my hats and merchandise I buy, I buy from Fanatics. Dot com. That's fanatics with an F dot com. Um, so we got that one. Let me just, um, Sorry about that. I'm just trying to find, um, anyway, I was trying to find the website, but just to learn, uh, show you the correct spelling of that website, but that's why I said with an F. <laughs> uh, this one I like because this next hat, I, um, 
I like this team. I got this design um, on one other uh, uh, another uh, Baltimore Orioles hat. Um, I got this uh, Pacific logo on the black, orange, and white one, which I don't, you know, sorry about that, which I don't wear because it's very rare. Well, not rare, but it's one of those, um, I got hats from, or I got, uh, hats in my collection that I wear and I'm going to start wearing on a normal basis and then some I won't wear because they are part of my main collection um, and once I get all my new hats um, from my next two or three orders um, I'm probably going to wear a lot of them to work, show them off, and a lot of them I'll just put in the collection. And, and then as I'm organizing my collection, I'm going to pick out certain ones that I want to kind of wear every day. Um, or maybe just one. Uh, you know, it, it, it depends. But anyway, I know I'm kind of just braggy, but... This next one, I got their other team hat, but I bought this one um, to uh, kind of complete the collection because I thought it was sporty. That's a new uh, word you don't hear too often, sporty. And it has, um, well anyway, it is the White Sox hat. I'm not sure when they had this logo, but I think it's pretty cool. A lot of the team hats are uh, doing this specific look. Like, I understand the guy batting in the middle is the old uh, White Sox logo. And they're just putting the uh, home plate around him and a lot of the team hats on fanatics.com or lids.com are doing that I guess for marketing purposes and more money um, I had one more thing in this specific hat order but I don't have it on me or next to me it's kind of currently in my room um, and I will kind of make that into a separate video or maybe add it to the next video I do for my hats um, let me, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this one in the last video um, I'm kind of like I said I'm kind of un you know, run over with hats right now, and I'm just kind of covering my bases, and I got the Eagles, uh, Super Bowl 52 hat, uh, it's a size 7, fitted, all my hats are size 7s, because that's what fits my head, some fit different than others because of the cut, but that's just the way it goes so with that said I am signing off if you like what you see hit like subscribe uh, tell your friends check out my other videos that I've done over the couple of years I um, I know I haven't really been doing them uh, too too frequently they've come very um, few and far between lately but you know with everything going on and 
my personal life I really don't have time to sit here and do videos every day but once the next football season starts I will kick the videos up even more probably with live reactions to certain games and let me talk about one thing um, the NBA playoffs or championship uh, what is this uh, four uh, championships for the Warriors in the last eight years that's fantastic. Um, I was actually rooting for Boston. Uh, that's kind of ironic because I'm wearing a Yankees hat. But, and it's not that I don't like Golden State, but everywhere you, you know, every sports channel you turn on, you know, you hear, uh, Golden State this, Steph Curry that, LeBron James this, LeBron James that. Oh, who's the GOAT? LeBron or Jordan and top tens. And honestly, a lot of people have more than just a top ten. They have a top 15. They have a top 20. And there was a few debates this past week on Sports Talk Radio. You know, the national sports radio um like, if Steph Curry, Steph and Curry makes the top 10, who do you take off? And honestly, um, see, that's why a lot of people have top 10s, but they don't want to take anybody off, so they add four more, so they make it a top 15. So, um, congratulations to the Golden State Warriors, and, um... I'm from Philadelphia, so my Sixers are kind of figuring everything out and um, just hope James Harden figures it out and, you know, be better next year. So, anyway, with that said, like I've been saying, um, I will let you go tonight and see you later in the week if you like what you see hit like subscribe tell a friend and please even if you don't comment hit like or dislike it doesn't matter i'm just doing this for fun and it helps honestly it helps with my anxiety because seeing myself on camera it makes me feel like i'm talking to somebody anyway Bye-bye for now.